Jeez, I heard a knock at the door. I wonder who it could be. Short time. Why, hello, Vaughn. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I guess we might as well open it up and have a, have a gander at what it might be. Mm. Oh, it's got a little bit of Here, I'll do one side and you can do the other. <laughs> we'll, we'll share. Yay, sharing. Okay, you can do this. Okay. I wonder what it could be, Vaughn. What do you think? I think it might be a Polish saber. Yeah. When people say, oh, it's a Polish saber, and in fact, it's like one of the um, British. Uh, what do they have? British yeah. cavalry sabers? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And stuff like that. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's basically the same. All right, well, let's have a get this sticky tape off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's just cold steel, you said. Yeah, it's a cold steel, but it's oh. one of the newer models. Cold steel there, it's probably holy shit. Hope that hasn't taken it out. Oh my god. Yeah, you wanna you wanna get open up the saber whilst I open up the scabbard? It's like Christmas. Yeah. Well this is this is what I heard. I heard the original um the original Schablers were uh, a little bit overbuilt. So it'll be interesting to see, but then again, you know I've got Overbuilt in a historical means doesn't mean it's like Oh yeah, well. I guess it's been, it's like, um, what's his face? I post swords, you know? And he just buys stuff from Poland whenever he feels like it, as yeah. you casually do. What do you mean, cultural antique? Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Just go to a museum and just like, that's really nice. Who was that? Oh, you're like founding king? Yes, I will have that. Quick shot of that. It's red leather, looks like it's soft red leather with steel, chap, and what's the, uh, what's the bottom bit called? This is oh, chap, isn't the, it? Um, uh, I, I can't remember. I can't remember either. Damn. But it's got its two little supporting rings there, so you can hold it sort of at various angles on your, uh, on your persons or on your saddle. Nice little quarter foil. Heart design there, that's pretty yeah, nice. No, it's, it's a nice sort of rouge, ruby red rather than like some bright standout yeah. sort of thing. The scissor hands there are really bright. That, uh, why is that so tight? Is it like a spring or something? Yeah, it's, it's, it's held in. Okay, fascinating. Here we go. That's a pretty, that's a pretty firm fit. That's not coming off anytime soon, that's for certain. There we go. Well put together without being over the top, like yeah. with embellishing, engraving and God knows what else. Exactly. But that just means it's a blank canvas that, you know, could be used for uh, I'm sure there are less things. ornate and more ornate ones. No doubt. I don't know if that's even in camera shot. That's, that's not too, um, not too, not too shabby. It's got little brass details on it and on the thumb ring as well. It's pretty, holy crap, that is greasy though. Woo! Grease is good though. Yeah, grease is good, but god damn. What do you think so far? We just thought well, about handling it. Obviously, you know. I can't use it because it's a right handed sword. <laughs> um, the leather looks good, the wire wraps really nice and tight. Mm. Everything seems to fit well. Mm. I like the brass embellishments on it too. That's, yeah. that's, that's a nice touch. A nice touch. It's got the, uh, what, what's it called? The back strap there? Yeah, that's I'm pretty, a big fan of the back straps. That's a pretty nice little back strap there. And is it, uh, do you know whether they're. I think they're, they're peened from they're memory. Peened? I could be wrong, but. It, yeah. Not sure. It might, might have a nut, but that's that's still fine for this have episode. A, have a nut. I bet everyone's having a nut being able to see it. It's a decent edge. Mm. It's not like razor sharp, but oh, no. it's still sharp enough to cut. There you go, no doubt. Do a little <laughs> sneaky boom, false edge cut. We'll have to get some milk jugs sometime and compare this to the uh, to the, the back sword. Yeah. Yeah, the Scottish back sword that we got. You know, because that is what would cut better? The armor class or or yeah, this. I don't know. I mean, the shape also lends itself to cutting it. Ah, oh, yeah, no doubt. Feather at the top there, or whatever they, they call it, is actually yeah. 
It's actually it is actually thinned along the back because I was reading that older models of this again I've got nothing to compare it to but the older models of this were almost that thick all the way up to uh, the no digital tip. taper. Yeah, like their um like uh what is it the seventeen the heavy cavalry trooper like, you know, like, the, like cavalry no no the heavy oh. cavalry one you know the one you the had? straight one yeah, yeah the straight one the back yeah. sort of lean itself yeah. sort of you know slipping this kind of ah uh, kind of cut there. Well, uh, you know, you could use this off a horse or on a horse. I'm sure it would work either way. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Nice, Something. thick knuckle yeah. bow there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is it hollow? Don't think so. Hmm. I'm enjoying so far is that it's actually quite a thin grip. Yeah, well, it's not I'm those so chunky, used... chunky, silly over the belt. Yeah, that's it. I'm so used to those massively fat, like, circular this grips. This is an excuse for it because there are so many surviving examples of these swords. They're not that old. No. Is it, you know... Compared to some other swords. Oh, yeah. No, so yeah. you could even pick one up, look at the grip and go, oh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Within seconds, he let go because of the greasy handle. <laughs> Dead. It's easy. You definitely can wind them up and cut because of oh, the, yeah. uh, the curve in it. So, oh, no, I can, yeah. again, I can't hold it properly. <laughs> well, you know, I don't think that's necessarily a, you know, a bad thing. The induction line sword, you know, really... Definitely, I mean, it looks well and truly above what you'd expect from something. But then again, I guess that's just what I've, getting better. I've been used Thanks to. Thanks for that, no Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. We'll do a closer review next time. Catch you guys later. Ugh. Just like people said, maybe it's just my hands, but that thumb ring does seem a little bit too high up on the hilt, or up on the cross part there. It's really hard to get the thumb in without it sort of creeping up past your uh, past your hand. Well, Pretty fun to swing around. Seems a bit heavy, uh, maybe, but I don't know. I haven't handled an original. Um, maybe I should post this to uh, good old I Post Swords, and he can uh, have a bit of a feel and a bit of a play and give his professional opinion. But I will say, it is very fun. It does look very cool, and it's definitely lends itself to, you know, sort of this nice deep uh, cool sort of thing. And I'll stop making a fool of myself now.